English for Arabs is English for all. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Highlight key concepts. Reveal answers to exercises. Annotate passages. Play class audio passages and video segments. And even embed web links right into your lessons. You Page 89, exercise 6. Listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise 5. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? 1. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between Maria's Restaurant and Luff's Department Store. 2. Is it near Maria's Restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue, next to the supermarket. P&J Supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue, between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. 3. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. 4. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue, across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay. Thanks. One. One. This place is across from the movie theater. It's the main street, so number one, bank, city bank. There is a restroom there. Number two. Number two. It's the place. Where is this place? It's, it's the drugstore. Where is the drugstore? The drugstore, this is Dave's. It's next to the supermarket. So Dave's drugstore is next to the supermarket. Drugstore pharmacy. Three. This place is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. It's next to the bank. It's across from the movie theater. This is Maria's restaurant. 3. Maria's restaurant. 1. City bank. The bank. 2. Drug store. The pharmacy. 3. Maria's restaurant. 4. This place on the corner of Main Street, 2nd Avenue. So this is the place. It's next to Alice Coffee Shop. It's Across from the movie theater. So this is show store. Show store. This is favorite shoes. Show store. Exercise number seven. Look at the picture. What do you see? Number one. What's this? The Empire State Building. The Empire State Building was the highest. Was recognized as the highest building all over the world in New York in the past. You can find it in the movie King Kong. In the movie King Kong. This is Central Park. Park. You have a lot of trees. It's a very big garden for all the people. Grand Central Terminal. This is terminal for passengers. Times Square, it's a very famous place, a very famous place. 
This is times square. Rockefeller Center, this is Rockefeller Center. You can see fountains, a lot of fountains. The Statue of Liberty, the Statue of Liberty, this is a Statue of Liberty in the USA. It's a symbol for freedom and liberty. Now, listen. What do you know about these places? What makes them popular? Why are these places famous? What are some popular tourist attractions in your city? in your country, in Egypt, in Saudi Arabia, in Morocco, Algeria, Kuwait. Can you tell your friends what are the famous tourist attractions, the famous tourist places in your countries? In Saudi Arabia there is Mecca, also there is Medina. In Egypt there are the pyramids, the Sphinx, Luxor, Sharm el-Sheikh, Hurghada, there are a lot of tourist attractions in Egypt. But let's listen first to these places. Page 89, Exercise 7, Snapshot. Top tourist attractions, New York City. Listen and practice. The Empire State Building. Grand Central Terminal, Central Park, Times Square, Rockefeller Center, the Statue of Liberty. What are some popular tourist attractions in your country? We said in Saudi Arabia there are Mecca, Medina, Jeddah also has wonderful places. In Egypt, there are Sharm el Sheikh, Hurghada. In Luxor, there are different temples. In Aswan, there is Fail Island. In Giza, there are the pyramids and the sphinx. Also, there is Mars Alam. All of these places are wonderful tourist attractions in Egypt. Exercise number eight. Now. Look at the picture, what do you see? A young man and a young lady. This is a lady. The young man has a book, New York. This is maybe tourist guide, a guide for tourists. It's a book. The man has a camera. He takes photos. The young man takes photos, she explains for tourists or she, she gives information for tourists about touristic places, maybe. What's this? Maybe it's a cathedral. A cathedral is a big church, maybe. Maybe this is a building, this is the Empire State Building, maybe. Let's listen. Page 89, Exercise 8, Conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. 
St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. So what's this? This is the Empire State Building. Let's read. Tourist and woman. Excuse me. Please, ma'am. Can you help me? Ma'am, madam. How do we get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Cathedral? Big church. Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. You should walk to the street that's called 5th Avenue, Avenue number 5, to Street 50. You will find that St. Patrick is on the right, the right opposite the left. This is direction, right, left. It's near Rockefeller Center. Yes. It's right across from Rockefeller Center. Just you go to Rockefeller Center, you will find across it. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? Is the Empire State Building far from here? It's, is it near or far? It's near. It's right behind you. This is exactly behind you. So right here, it's right behind you. Right here means exactly, directly, directly, exactly behind you. Just turn around and look up. Just look, look up. This is the Empire State Building. Look around, turn around and look up. Look high. This is the Empire State Building. It was in the past the highest building all over the world in the past. But not now. Now we have the Khalifa Tower. Number nine directions. Page 90, Exercise 9, Grammar Focus, Directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up 5th Avenue. Go up 5th Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down 5th Avenue. Go down 5th Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. Nine directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up. Go up 5th Avenue. You go up. Go higher. Then turn left to 49th Street. So this is 49th Street. It's on the right. This is on your right. This is the Rockefeller Center. You go up until 49 streets on the right. This is the Rockefeller Center. How can I get to Bryant Park? Where can, how can I go to Bryant Park? This is Bryant Park. To go to Bryant Park, you should walk down and go down to 5th Avenue. You have to walk to 5th Avenue. So, you walk to 5th Avenue, this is 5th Avenue, 
and then turn right on 42nd street then you go right to street number 42 this is street number 42 so 5th avenue then you go to street number 42 it's on the left you will find the Bryant Park here on the left this is Bryant Park so here A and B A ask a question how do I get to plus the place how can I get to in the answer you give directions like walk up go up turn left or walk down go down turn right left opposite right go up opposite go down walk up opposite walk down it's on the right in your right hand it's on the left it's on the left hand hello again and welcome to the intro video for unit 13 today we are talking about giving directions all right let's get started Howard is asking Bob for directions about how to get to different locations in the city. Let's listen to their conversation. How do I get to the post office? Go up Main Street. Turn left on 2nd Avenue. Go down 2nd Avenue. It's on the left, across from the bookstore. How can I get to the park? Walk down Center Street. Turn left on First Avenue. Walk up First Avenue. It's on the corner of First and Main. Giving directions with imperatives. When we need directions, we say, for example, how do I get to the post office? Get to is the verb we use for arrive to. For example, how do I get to the post office? Or how do I get to the movie theater? Or how do I get to your house? We use get to for the verb arrive to. For the directions, we use imperatives. For example, go up or go down Main Street. Next, we say, for example, turn left or turn right on 2nd Avenue. And next we say walk up or walk down 2nd Avenue. So let's review the imperatives. For example, when we say go up or go down, we use the street. For example, go up Main Street or walk up or walk down and the street for example walk up Main Street or walk down Main Street now when we come to another street 
we need to turn. So we say, turn left on and the street. Or maybe, turn right on and the street. So for example, turn left on 2nd Avenue. Or, turn right on 2nd Avenue. Very good. Now it's time to practice. How do I get to the bookstore? Go up First Avenue or walk up First Avenue. Turn right on Center Street. Walk up Center Street or walk down Center Street. It's across from the post office. Very good. How can I get to the gas station? Go up 2nd Avenue or go down 2nd Avenue. Turn left on Center Street. Walk up Center Street. It's on the corner of First Avenue and Center Street. Very good. All right. Now you know how to give directions in English. This was the Intro Unit 13 video. Thanks for watching, guys, and good luck. Page 91, Exercise 11, Reading. Edinburgh's Royal Mile 1. Start your walking tour at Edinburgh Castle. Climb up 187 steps to the top of Castle Hill for a great view. Then take a tour of the castle. 2. Walk down the Royal Mile three blocks to St. Giles Cathedral. Go inside and look at the colorful windows. 3. Take a break at Spoon Cafe. Go down the Royal Mile and turn right on South Bridge. The restaurant is on the left. 4. You're almost at the Museum of Childhood, on the right on the Royal Mile. There's a great collection of toys, dolls, and games here. 5. Continue down the Royal Mile. Stop at the Museum of Edinburgh to learn about the history of Scotland's capital. 6. End your walking tour in Holyrood Park, right behind the museum. One. You look at the picture, what do you see? This is Edinburgh Castle. Castle. Start your walking tour. Start walk at Edinburgh Castle. Climb up 
climb be silent climb up 187 steps you go up 187 steps to the top of the castle the castle hill this is the castle hill this is Edinburgh castle you go to the hill this is the hill you go up to the castle hill for a great, a great view if you stand here and you looked you will see a wonderful view then take a tour of the castle start to go inside the castle have wonderful tour two this is St. Giles Cathedral Cathedral big church you walk down the royal mile three blocks after three blocks you will find St. Giles Cathedral go inside the cathedral at the colorful windows the windows are colorful the windows are great they're wonderful three take a break time have fun at spoon cafe this is spoon cafe it's a wonderful place go down go down the royal mile and turn right on south bridge the restaurant is on the left, so the restaurant of Spoon Cafe is on the left. These are the six places. Number four, you're almost at the Museum of Childhood. This is the Museum of Childhood. This is for children. On the right of the Royal Mile. This is on the right on the Royal Mile Street. There is a great collection of toys, dolls, and games here. What's inside the museum? Inside the museum, a great collection, a great group of toys. You have wonderful toys, dolls, and games. Five. Look at the picture. This is the Museum of Edinburgh. Continue down the Royal Mile. Stop at the Museum of Edinburgh to learn about the history of Scotland's capital. Here in this museum, you can know information about the history of Scotland's capital, the capital of Scotland, the history of the Scottish people. 6. Here, this is a park, it's called Hollywood Park. Just end your walking tour in Hollywood Park, right behind the museum. Behind this museum, you will find the park of Hollywood. Hollywood Park, right behind the museum. This is a map of the places. You have the first place here, second. Third, fourth, fifth place. This is the Royal Mile Street. And here we have the museum. Behind it, you will find Hollywood Park. A. Read the tourist information. Where can you? Where can you rest and eat lunch? Which place can you have rest and eat lunch? Where, of course, on Spoon Cafe. Spoon Cafe. In Spoon Cafe, you can have lunch, you can have rest. So, number one, rest and eat lunch, Spoon Cafe. Where can you learn about Edinburgh's history? Of course, the Museum of Edinburgh. The Museum of Edinburgh. Three. Where can you take a tour? You can take a tour where in Edinburgh Castle. In Edinburgh Castle. Where can you see beautiful windows? Wonderful windows. This is St. Giles Cathedral. Cathedral. Here you can see old games, old, very, very old games. 
The Museum of Childhood. The Museum of Childhood. Again, the answer number one, Spoon Cafe. Two, Museum of Edinburgh. Three, Edinburgh Castle. Four, Saint, Saint Giles Cathedral. Five, The Museum of Childhood. That's the end of Unit 30. Homework number one, keep the words by heart. Number two, listen and repeat. Number three, answer three pages of the workbook. Number four, watch the video of interchange intro unit 13. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser-focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments, and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.